So this is week two of trying to learn Russian, which didn't go as planned. I was planning on studying at least three hours a day, seven days a week, and I think in total I may have only studied like six hours uh, this week. And I'm planning this week to get back on track. Um, I've been a little bit sidetracked with Portuguese because I'm going to be leaving for Portugal soon, and so I've been feeling like I should study Portuguese instead. Um, and then also work with a few uh, physical tests I have to take, so I'm tr trying to train for it. And then I've also been just really lazy. But I have been studying, not as much as I'd like to, but I've still been studying. I've been using um, the Real Russian Club YouTube channel with Daria. And I've been learning um, verbs, how to conjugate verbs how to use nouns and how to speak when talking about possession and all the genders and everything and then I started using the Pimsleur approach and that's been helping me with my speaking and my listening skills with pronunciation and I started Duolingo, Russian Duolingo which is helping me with uh, typing in Russian and using Russian letters and also um, with vocabulary, because they have like random vocabulary, like, I don't know, what is, like sweatshirt, and I think it's like svita, and like mashed potatoes, it's so random. Um, and then, oh yes, um, this other YouTube, cha YouTube channel um, with this teacher from Dallas, Texas. Uh, and she has like a southern drawl, which is really weird, like, but with a Russian accent. And I've been using her, and she like teaches how to like write in cursive in Russian uh, with the Cyrillic alphabet, and um, it's very similar. I mean, um, I like her lessons too because it's like an actual lesson, and she has just like the Daria's the Real Russian Club. Like it's a, is there's like a a path to follow, and I like that. So um, all of these things in conjunction with each other really helps. And then I, my speaking partner that I talked about last time is very basic, very, very basic conversation because she, she barely speaks any English and I barely sp speak or know how to write any Russian. So like, I think all, most of her conversation is in Russian. She never really writes me in English. I write her in Russian, or I try, like with the little Russian I know, obviously, but, um, and then I fill in with English words, but she's been writing me in just Russian, which is fine. It, it helps me learn new words. Uh, but yeah, um, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I mean, I only have so many words I don't know, but I guess with every week I can and put in a random text about mashed potatoes or something, I don't know. So I'm going to set a goal for next week, for my next video, I want to be able to speak spontaneously, knowing the little Russian that I know, and put in, put, to put together sentences, and like, maybe I'll have like, um, like pictures, or like, maybe I'll find a book, and then turn to a random page, and then try to talk about that page or something, just to like, work my vocabulary and I don't know try to put words together I think when I need to come up with something I I'm creative with hopefully uh, what I try to express because I have to do that in English because I don't know what I'm talking about I didn't can't even put together sentences in English anyways maybe my setting will be a lot better I'm hoping it's a goal but I am um, it's a goal so until next time, thanks for listening and watching. Bye.